angle between lines and planes example 2 determine the angle between the line with symmetric equation x equals to minus y z equals to 4 and the plane 2x minus 2z equals to 5 okay so we are given symmetric equation of the line here so from there let's try to find out the direction of the line okay so our line equation is x is equal to minus y and z equals to 4 correct so basically it is x over 1 y over minus 1 right and z equals to 4 right so the, what is the direction for the line the direction vector for the line m is equal to 1 minus 1 and how about this 0 right since you can't write 1 over 0 you write like this right it's like z equals to 4 all along right the line correct so the line is actually parallel to z axis okay so that is our the direction vector of the line and for the plane we have normal to the plane right we can write the equation of the plane as let me write it in different ink equation of the plane so that is for the line and here the equation for the plane is 2x minus 2z equals to 5 so what is the normal here so the normal here is 2 for i the x along the x y component is 0 and z is minus 2 well you can always simplify this and write this as 1 0 and minus 1 so that's a good practice to simplify and write it like this now as we did in example 1 let me explain you once again we are actually working with normal of the plane and the line but we need equation of line and the plane okay so so what the situation is something like this let's assume that that's our plane right and we have a line here which is kind of going like this correct now normal to the line is normal I mean normal to the plane will be any vector which is coming up like this is that okay so that is our normal now the angle which we want to find is basically the angle of line and the plane right so let's write so we are interested in finding this angle theta right this is the angle which we are interested in finding correct so what we but what we know here is that so this is the angle between the plane and the plane this I mean if I draw like this here right this is the angle theta between the plane and the line but we have normal which is this is our normal right and that is direction of the line so if we use dot product of m and n we actually find that angle so that angle is not this that angle is let us say phi which is this right phi is it okay so that is the angle which we will find if we do dot product of m and n so from here clearly you can see the relation between phi and theta is that theta equals to 90 degrees minus phi is it okay so that is how the relation is so what we will do is we will use normal of the plane and uh, direction vector of the line and do dot product between the two so we know so m dot n is equal to magnitude of m times magnitude of n cos phi right the angle between them and from here we can say cos phi is actually equal to dot product of m divided by magnitude of m and n is okay so that is how it is going to be right so let me draw a line here so that there's no confusion no this, that is that is what it is so what we can also do how is phi and theta related so phi is actually 90 minus theta right so you can say here we can say here that phi is 90 minus theta is it okay now if 
that means cos of phi is kind of equal to cos of 90 minus theta is it okay and cos of 90 minus theta is sin theta does it make sense to you so I in example 1 I calculated like this and then found the value of phi and from there we did 90 minus theta to find the angle theta right now in this example I'm using a different strategy what I'm trying to do is I'm saying that well phi is related with theta in this fashion so I can write cos of phi as sine of theta right that's equivalent so I'll I'll change it to this right so that's an alternate formula for the same thing so you can say the angle between a line and a plane given normal of the plane and direction vector of the line can be written as a new formula sine theta equals to m dot n over m and n so in this case you don't have to do 90 minus theta at the end so do you get the point so that is the whole idea teach you an alternate formula for the same thing okay now let's do it so m is 1 minus 1 oh sorry 0 dot 1 0 minus 1 divided by square root of magnitude of this which is 1 square plus 1 square plus 0 times 1 square plus 0 plus 1 square right which could be written as 1 times 1 is 1 1 times 0 is 0 0 times 1 is 0 so you get just 1 in the numerator and here we have square root of 2 times square root of 2 which is half right so what is sine of half so I don't have to use calculus that's the best part you know so you know your standard triangles so you draw your standard triangle and you know what here this side is 2, this side is 1, this is square root of 3 and for sine we need half that means the angle is 30 degrees right so from here we can do theta as sine inverse of half we can write theta as sine inverse of half which is equals to 30 degrees right so the angle between the line and the plane is 30 degrees so as let me do a recap on this as we did in example 1 you can find the angle between the line and the normal and then the answer from 90 minus theta will give you angle between line and the plane or you can modify your formula and say well sine theta is the angle between line and the plane which is dot product of vectors of direction vectors of line and normal divided by their magnitudes so either way you get the right answer I hope you understand. If you have any doubts, write down your comments. Thank you.